Why are you been so shitty, dog? Do you have to order money to inside, right? I don't think. So, hey everyone. So my Just Built a Drone series is doing pretty well. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check out those videos. Hey. And in those videos, I just go about all the things you need to build your very own drone at home from scratch. Um, this is an S500 frame, which is a pretty big frame at 25 inches um, with Sunny Sky motors and a Pixar flight controller. Now, a lot of you have been asking, like, what is the maximum payload can this drone carry? As well as what is the maximum flight that the drone can fly? So today I kind of want to just take it out and answer those questions. So I actually got like weights and stuff here that I'm going to strap to the drone. So stay tuned. So the first thing I want to do is kind of strip down any unnecessary weight from this drone um, because I really want to get with the maximum flight time. I also need to take out these blades from this drone also because I'm going to be changing the firmware. I'm going to be lowering that return home voltage um, just to see what is our maximum, you know, battery life that we can get from this drone. Um, can I get a three piece combo and also uh, let me can I make sense? Okay, thanks. Thank you. No, I'm gonna go by the next year. See you. Thank you very much. Enjoy your stay day. Stay home, stay safe. Just borrow and subscribe. <laughs> Point here is figure out where the time the drone gonna last me. Drone is armed. So right now I'm not even controlling it. Um, I'm gonna just leave it there. Gonna make sure it's any shot. So that's a minute in, and the voltage is 11.89 volts. You launch it? No. You launch it, sir? Yep. So, guys, the drone automatically landed, which means the voltage dipped below 9.6 or was around 9.6 volts. Um, now, bear in mind that these batteries could go all the way down to 9 volts, but I just put it at 9.6 as a safe um, voltage, which gives us a total of about 12 minutes of flight time, or well, 11 minutes and 55 seconds. Now, this can be pushed. Um, to probably the next two or three minutes i think um but i set the voltage at 9.6 um bear in mind also this is a 3200 milliamp hour battery 3s so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use another battery to figure out what is the maximum payload or weight that this drone can carry so i'm going to set it up now so this is a total of about three kilograms here each one is 0.5 kilograms and I'm going to slowly increase the weight until the drone can't carry it anymore. 
and this is actually going to tie to the drone and there we go that's one weight 2196 grams or 4.8 pounds so i'm going to set this up and take it out and fly So that amount of instability and swaying you're seeing happening on a drone there actually comes from my own misconceptions of drones because essentially what's happening is there's something called the drone pendulum fallacy where I thought that the drone would have flown much much more stable by having the weight at the bottom um, but essentially what's happening there is the drone is doing a lot of overcorrection and overcompensation as the center of rotation is much lower and also um, weight is increasingly getting bigger and bigger as the pendulum gains energy by the overcorrection of the drone. Now Tom Stanton did a really good video on this, I'll probably link it in the description below. But it was a kind of misguided effort by me. Um, so it's something that I would correct in a future video. Um, all the tests were successful in figuring out the weight and also the delivery. But um, next time what I'm going to do is I actually built a new rig. So I have the drone here and I have a plate that I will strap to the legs. And essentially what's going to happen here is I'm going to put the weights here and it's going to actually increase the center of gravity and the center of rotation close to the drone, which will make the drone um, much more likely to compensate for corrections and it will be much easier to fly and maybe even hold higher amounts of weights. So that's something to watch out for in a future video and I'm going to just pay you back to the video right now. Well, it's too wicked. Yeah, this definitely can lift this up. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we maxed out the amount of weight this drone can carry at uh, a one kilogram payload. I, didn't, I, don't even, I don't even think it can actually lift the one kilogram payload. I, I, I'm gonna just have to call it there. So, box of KFC is about 0.5. Of a kilogram so this is how much weight it was struggling to hold which is 1.1 kilograms and it actually successfully lifted 5.62 kilograms so let's see how well it does So everyone, I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. The sun is going down, so I'm going to wrap up. I'm also going to apologize now for any of the darkness in the videos. We were literally fighting with the sun outside here, and there's a mountain behind us. Um, but just to wrap up, um, the maximum flight time we got on this drone, which is an S500 frame with Pixar and Sunny Sky Motors with 3,200 milliamp hour battery, was about 12 minutes. Um, that is also noting the fact that it's set to return home at 9.6 volts. Can the drone carry a box of KFC? Well, the maximum weight we were able to carry, including um, not including the battery on the drone itself, was 0.5 kilograms. The one kilogram didn't work out too well. Um, but yes, the drone was able to carry and deliver a box of KFC. So kudos. Um, and I'm going to just wrap up the video here. As always, this is just Baron. 
Just do it yourself. Just be yourself. That's all anybody can ask of you. And see you in the next video.